My idea is to create the buildings where art is organic part of the architecture. So here you can see a uh, left side forum uh, in Helsinki city center with my Helsinki partners and right side uh, Estonian bank atrium sculpture. And here is stained glass project, why it is important, it was based uh, from my idea, from my small stained glass um, uh, like bird through an eye about the idea which is flying through an eye. And uh, this is Estonian Supreme Court of Estonia, Helena Metzlang uh, exhibited here. Newest version because uh, this is good example how art could be uh, like ours longer, uh, live long life. They made some renovation work there and just uh, these three windows jumped uh, to the third floor from the second floor. So here are my older uh, stained glass projects and this is Dragon R also published in American glass magazines. It was the symbol of uh, or mix from uh, old boat and uh, mix from ideas from the sea. And here is uh, Tallinn port, port of Tallinn, and I fabricated uh, for two floors my stained glass projects. It, it was also exhibited these four windows at the Baltic Sea uh, art exhibition, which was um, in collaboration with the politicians. So uh, they took them away from the windows, and they are two meters high and one meter uh, the other size. So they sent them to uh, Sweden and then back and put them back and they are still there so this is also our stronger effect. So here you can see smaller projects, stained glass projects which is really long lasting. And uh, here is my American life and uh, when I jumped first uh, from airplane 1996 uh, in New York, the president of American Stained Glass Association at that time, Helen Weiss, made me a long interview about my glasses and I was lucky that uh, she said, oh, it's so hard to get maybe one line about your art in American or world-famous magazines, so they made a long interview and, and said that uh, uh, my, my frames and my style is very unique, so I was happy <laughs> from that time in, in America. Here, from the same magazine, Dreams of the Transparent Room, so uh, they are reflected in different ways. So this is my, um, how my painter's career in America started in Manhattan with my first exhibition, Art 54, they were watercolors. But now I transform my watercolors and drawings into glass surfaces and new technologies really give us this experience. The same painting, what you can see here, uh, which was exhibited at Manhattan Art 54 exhibition, and it was a very successful exhibition, it was printed later on glass, on uh, art exhibition in Finland. So now new technologies, as Jorma told us, uh, they really, really give us possibility to transform different technologies and your paintings or drawings. This is the first exhibition, what you can see there, and this is me. And this broken river was never name of this uh, exhibition, and you can see the paintings there, this yellow and blue, and the other which was exhibited at Manhattan Arts. So here you can see my American life. I was invited, uh, professor uh, on right side, uh, Rhode Island School of Design, which is one of the world's leading um, class uh, departments in the world and one of the mo most uh, leading glass light art uh, academies. Uh, so 
that I had some students uh, who were very interested about my very new innovative technologies and that was the reason why I was invited to Rhode Island School of Design. And uh, right side you can see uh, Tacoma Glass and Light Museum. Uh, so these connections go to James Carpenter from New York who is very uh, famous, uh, world famous glass artist whom I met in uh, Manhattan, as I mentioned, uh, who sent me to the world's leading glass conference where I met Jorma Vikkala. So uh, these uh, connections from Rhode Island School and New York uh, bring me also back to uh, Finland. Uh, and Finland sent me also already back to Manhattan and San Francisco. And here you can see uh, my project, uh, European Parliament Main Building, Reactive River. It was 2006 and I exhibited my light glass river and a video. At that time, uh, light was not so popular even 10 uh, and more years ago. So, as I said, I, I was 30 years or 40 years ahead with my light impressions, but I must say honestly, it, it was not so easy if big trailers carry around Europe your glass and uh, glass light sculptures and uh, carry them to European Parliament that were planned also mirrors around it and Marco Kular uh, composed a beautiful uh, music, the river which turns into a train and it was really brilliant and when uh, the president of the European Socialists, Paul Rasmussen, made a speech. Uh, he had tears in his uh, eyes and said, uh, now I can see how, how culture and how art can ch can, could change the world. So uh, when uh, I'm talking about energy fields between people and energy fields, uh, what art could uh, create, then this is um, uh, the example how innovative art could uh, make changes and, and uh, later it was selected inside the world top uh, best uh, 25 light sculptures in the world's leading glass magazine, uh, public art magazine, uh, Coda magazine. Here you can see the suffering from the background and I am very excited to tell you how art could uh, grow up because the start was not so funny because when all these big trailers around Europe uh, approached European Parliament, uh, we had time only uh, one day and uh, five hours. Here, uh, here is this big sculpture what uh, was pictured earlier. Uh, Christmas crown in Helsinki city centre in collaboration with uh, SAS Instrumenti and the idea was to create a metamorphic glass and light sculpture uh, which is uh, one form and one message on Christmas time and another message on summer time so, uh, so it was happened and this is uh, Design for Estonian Bank and Airport, and also Estonian Airport. And this is Alaska Airport. And this is, uh, if I'm talking about energy fields, um, and uh, what Helena mentioned so beautifully, uh, how ugly architecture, old Soviet architecture, destroys people's spirit. Here is uh, the project in collaboration with. Uh, uh, the architect Martin Aunin and uh, Estonian company Arkavara, their idea was to create uh, something new and they built the, this facade and now it's exhibited many, many international art and architecture um, journals. Now, now of course it's not there, but uh, now you, you can see the metamorphic uh, st uh, changes. And this is one concept uh, which is not realized on waiting the list. Uh, this is concept hall Yuffie Estonia. It is night time and uh, now it's night, night time, yes, and daytime. So how light and glass could be different in different times of day. 
And this is my favorite place underground, Lokia Live Wine Finland. Uh, my business partner Eko Beldomäki, very famous Finnish light artist, invited to make a collaboration, co uh, uh, collaboration exhibition. And here you can see how the energy and synergy between people could make miracles. How my best sculpture in Finland, in Glaston Corporation, started. So if you're Navid Kala, who is the king of the glass world and created the world's leading glass conference, and um, I was invited in 1996 from New York to visit uh, this brilliant conference, uh, which, uh, which uh, uh, is organized over two years, and now is uh, my result there in the lobby of the Glaston Corporation, uh, and Glaston, which was earlier Town Glass, is the organizer uh, of uh, these brilliant conferences. So, uh, first, they wanted my reactive river to the interior of the new building, beautiful, smart glass building in Tampere, Pehmaistekadu 5. You can visit it, the lobby, if you are there. And uh, I, we worked with the project for three years. So it, it seems that it's very uh, minimalistic, but to got asymmetrical um, glasses, it takes really, really um, uh, long time. So as the company director said to me, oh, Mary, you want uh, that we must build a new, uh, new, factory for you because I wanted asymmetrical glasses, but they had only symmetrical forms, so it was technically quite challenging. But as you see, they did it after many, many experiences, and parts of that uh, sculpture, uh, they were fabricated in five countries. So it's a, a long time collaboration. Unfortunately, the engineer is not with us anymore, but uh, uh, when we first met in Helsinki, our first uh, meeting, uh, I asked a flying sculpture construction and um, I, I had ready some pictures, uh, some paintings about my idea and he just took the pen and uh, made the idea how they can be there and fly without frames. So, uh, Later, yes, it was uh, very successful, and they are uh, LED lamps controlled by the computer. So you can see the sculpture and uh, the smart class also with uh, very secret tricks. So, uh, Mr. Pentisalin, who was a creator of the idea to create on the lobby uh, the sculpture, he was at that time. Uh, uh, director at the classroom at that time, it was um, Tom Glass, and uh, well, business uh, director of that company. And uh, next uh, from me is the well famous James Carpenter, with whom we worked in Manhattan from 1997, and he was the one uh, who invited me to the World's Leading Glass Conference, whose creator Jorma Vitkola made a brilliant speech. And next uh, to him is uh, Julio Mamo, uh, who is the architect of the project and with whom we had brilliant collaboration to create the organic sculpture for that building. And then uh, the last one from the left is Jorma Vitkala, who made a brilliant speech here. And here you can see how the synergy and energy between people could create new uh, Art. So I am lucky, I must say. So uh, here, here is uh, one small auditory in the same building. Uh, with, uh, with smart class, uh, you can see different mixed technologies, how the same wall could be different. And here it is the same party world opening at the World Leading Conference for my class culture. It was for the world media. 
And here I can uh, tell you a little bit more about my paintings. Uh, Tetra office building, Madame de Estonia, uh, which was selected inside World Top 25 Art Plus Technology. So these paintings are based on my uh, acrylic paintings. And there are videos incorporated on the glass panels and also on the floor with natural oil shell. Uh, so uh, uh, they are incorporated together, organic old oil shell material, you can see it through the glass, and from the bottom there are um, projected videos and LED uh, lines which change color. You can see the start here, the dull oil shell material and how light comes in and uh, there are many different tests with videos and lights, so it's lots of testing what I like very much. And now you can see the work in progress, how it grows. And now it is the video which is projected on the floor. And birds, birds blocks taking off. And this is the golden gate uh, which opens us uh, doors for the new energies and synergies. This is part of that video also. So, I will end soon. I show very fast some of my videos. The last one will be the video what I created for for Finland. Here is the same temple. This is my world famous video about the sculpture which is on Glaston Lobby, Finland. This is an award-winning uh, video which told uh, the, this competition, Buddha magazine, um, was about uh, art in architecture and videos about these projects. How glass compactor first could kill our minds and our energies, but later maybe these new energies could transform into art and glass and transformative art, how you can see here. And this was this long process, three years, what we did, uh, lots of tests, and uh, finally, of course, it, it was successful, surprisingly. Now you can see all the sculpture. background is also music by composer Marco Kuller.
form turns into a feeling, feeling turns into a line, glass walls turn into a glass sheet, the glass sheet turns into a light, light turns into a vibration, vibrations between people make miracles, vibration turns into an energy, synergy, synergy puts paper sheets to fly. And at the end I will show you the golden gate which opens again. Thank you all who participated here from the screen. I will start Mike Barlow. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful speech and great ideas. And thank you Sherry Dan from San Francisco, Silicon Valley. You are brilliant. And thank you Andre from the screen. And I, I like very much your analysis. It, it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to bring together all some, some Helena Metzlang left already and Jorma Vitkala went to, back to Finland already. But here is Jaki Kaspik. Thank you for talking all these four hours and leading us and guiding to the bright future. And thank you, Gregor, so much for your great analysis. Gregor is so brilliant. He's making a doctor thesis and he is, well, the best public art expert. We are lucky to have him here. And thank you all who, who have been so brave to come here because we are always afraid of all of you if uh, somebody gets some bad diseases, but I hope everything is okay with all us. And thank you for all, I know many of you in America, in Europe, in China, in other Australia who are watching for us. And hello to Canada also. I know many artists and art uh, experts are looking for us around the globe. And later it will be via YouTube for your friends. So we are happy to be here and long time it's available via YouTube. And thank you all who had uh, energy to listen to us and to brainstorm about our bright uh, visual future. Thank you.